Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick, episode three of Humans. Francis, Alonzo, Kim is, alas, recovering from Comic-Con. <laughs> who can blame her? Uh, I, I, you know, of course I miss not having her here because she's the one who really makes she's me really, like this show yeah. more than I do. I will but do my best. I'm I'll kind of, best. I'm kind of getting into it now just because I've, I've sort of resigned myself to the fact that everyone's sort of giving me the creeps. Yes. The humans, the, the synths, everybody. Everybody's <laughs> creepy and there's the, the scene with, um, when they go driving out into the woods and the car so mm. kind of breaks down. and It wasn't as much creepy, but I was still sympathetic with the, the synth that was involved in the crash. What was it? Odie, yeah. Yeah, Odie's, and he, and at the very end when you see him just kind of sitting out there on the wall just by himself, like how can you, how can you draw that emotion for a robot basically? Well, you know, that's, that, how good it is. that's like the, 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 the not quite ending of AI, you know, yes. where he's stuck at the bottom of the river, um, which William Hurt was also in. Yes, he was it. it, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I you know I it, it's I I love that storyline. I think it's really fascinating. Although it's kind of weird where, if you know that your synth is kind of malfunctioning, do you let, let him, him drive? Run. Yeah. And if you're gonna let him drive, do you have conversations with him that <laughs> might be misunderstood? Maybe don't talk about how you'd kill for an ice cream while he's trying to pay attention to the road. <laughs> Just a thought. Uh, yeah. um, Talking about killing. What's going on with our, our somewhat resident crazy blonde synth? Oh blonde? well. Because she, she's obviously, okay, she's got her, an agenda. Sure. So she, she thinks that she's been mistreated, and she, they asked her point blank, are you going to kill someone else? And she's like, you'd expect her to say, no, only if I'm in danger, only this. No, if they deserve it. Right, well, and, and, and she does at least, we, we clearly see there's a, there's, a, there's a line that you have to cross, or she won't, because, yeah. you know, she goes home with the guy, and she thinks she's going to kill him, and then she finds out he's single, and then she's not. Then she sees the, br <laughs> the, the, the hair rubber, you know, the, the rubber bands in the bathroom, and she is going to kill him, it's his daughter, <laughs> and she's not. I tell so, you what, I would not want this to be a girlfriend, because what she decides... There should be a, there's a flow yeah. chart for this, you know? What, what she bases her killer instinct off is not really worth dying for, or worth being killed for because you have hair ties in your bathroom and she he might have had some girl he's clearly single he might have just had some girl over a couple of weeks yeah, ago true he left it there but that's going to marry she is death. a strict moralist <laughs> yeah she is she, so. she is she is a member of the american family yeah. association but the scene of uh, the scene of her putting in the the contacts and kind of just it was almost as if she was let loose in the wild. It was sure. as, as if she just finally was able to be herself. I thought that was really cool because she started to like loosen up, literally loosen up her limbs, and she could walk and act normal. Some guy bumped into her, and she was just like, oh, sorry, instead of having to act robotic. Right, well, but also the fact that, that he apologized to her. Yeah, it was so like you're treating her like a human being and not like this appliance, yes. which is sort of the whole thing with Anita, you know, where we see where the, the, the mother and the older sister are just sort of basically think yeah. of her as a talking like food processor yeah. and the other ones clearly you know cope with her more as as a, as a human being and i i do love the whole crazy gaslighting that is going on in that house <laughs> between making the dad look at her naked yeah. and driving the horny teen son into a frenzy yeah. and super mind gaming the mother like yeah. that, that this is some this is some dynasty painting the office and making <laughs> gig the guy crazy yeah. stuff going and you on. were saying before that how we uh we didn't know who to root for at this yeah. point, and I still don't really know who to root for, but I know who to root against. I don't <laughs> like the mom in that house. Like, I did not <laughs> oh, like Oh, see, I sympathize it, with her. Oh, I geez. totally sympathize okay, with her. Okay, but what about... The, it's well, an it, untenable position. She, she will basically put her son in, in a risky position at, at a point of when she was taking Anita away. Obviously, she didn't expect him to... She didn't to, know she was going to come <laughs> pedaling out into but traffic. She, but you know, I thought she looked in the, the wing mirror and could see like both of them basically barreling down to try and capture it. At right, that point, she could have just... What? I don't know, just pulled over. <laughs> Turned over. She, she was stuck in traffic. She couldn't, like... She, I don't think she had a chance to swerve. It was... Uh, the thing about her is that... I, I can see where the mind games are coming in and how she seems to be. It's fun to watch her being messed with, to be honest, but I just don't think that it merits the way that she, she treats her more robotic than anyone I've seen in this. Even the people who seem to be going to the further extents and trying to experiment them, etc. She's never been nice. Well, to, uh, she, okay, she never wanted her there in the first place, yeah. but, but I think that all of her worst fears have been fulfilled by the way that Anita behaves. And the worst part is that everybody else thinks she's nuts <laughs> for seeing stuff that's actually happening. Yeah, I, so I, I'm 
I dig her. I, she's, that's, living, that's, she's, she's a living stereotype. That's, of, uh, that's my favorite part of the show, I think, is 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 that she actually knows what's going on, and but she's so, like, uh, yeah, every time, you know, she's being outflanked and outmaneuvered by the robot. But what's, you know? going, on with her, what's going on with her secret, then? Because she, she, oh, she well, found a letter. What was it? Is it Tom? It was, yeah, it was, it was, an, was old, an old photo album. Yeah, yeah so, yeah. I mean, there's another reason not to like her. She's got some hidden, maybe she's got a hidden boyfriend. I, you know what? Her, maybe hidden. it's her dead <laughs> child. What, do you think? what about just, that, huh? Yeah, you just took this in a very... What happens if it's a guy she had an affair with? So, well, then the, the what's-her-face will come kill her, I guess. Because, you know, there's, that's against well, the rules. Well, there's good people debating about this, and we find someone that we <laughs> Yes, dislike. clearly that we're what, interested. What about, in because in the last episode, Kim was saying that she did, like she doesn't like both of them because they her and her daughter seem to have an agenda to mess with the sins or just don't like the sins in general. Sure. So the daughter took her, her agenda and, and tried to find out what was going on in her head and try yeah. to find out this, what, why was what was making her so dysfunctional. So I guess she tapped into previous thoughts. She, yeah, she, she was basically downloading all the stuff. Yeah, like all every, everything, the, the, the guy who's captured, the, yeah. the, where they're reading his memories in the lab, she was essentially doing the same thing, only it was just, for her it was just pure data. Yeah. She had no idea what to do so, with it. And then so when she posted it online, like, hey, what is this? Anybody yeah. know? That flags, you know, the other guys who were trying to find her. I, I'm not sure if I, if I was just, if I seen it miscorrectly or anything, but... I thought her when she snapped out of it, her eyes didn't weren't as weren't the green color like a, that robotic color. I don't know if it was just me, but is it? It poses a question: Are these, are these people who who can be converted into synths, or well, are they created in general? Because that's, that's what I was thinking. Is that, she an experiment? Because they seem to be. Flashing back, they all have these flashbacks of being trapped in a and drowned. Right, that's that's the recurring mystery. Like there's even that line of like, well, they had food and water. Why would they have that? Yeah. You know. And so you've got this guy who is seemingly human and bleeds red, but at yeah. the same time, like, they're hooking his they're his, his up. wound up to electricity. And then you've got these supposed synths who are behaving in a very sort of human, irrational, you know, manipulative, whatever yeah. kind of way. So. Obviously, you know, the, 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 the dead scientists who created these and who sort of created this handful of human acting ones, yeah. we're, we're, we're in the process of figuring out what all that is and, and where, where it all leads. Yeah, like and that. that's the most interesting part of it is because <clears throat> from what we see, obviously, so we see Anita that she's bleeds blue, so she's clearly one of, uh, an original, well, she's a synth that's been created, but she has these humane thoughts that are, so I want to know is can they convert them fully into a synth or do you have to be... Like, are, are the synths that are made from humans? I don't know, it's a little yeah. confusing, because are the synths that are made from humans still human aspects? Like right. you said, the, the guy who's still got the things well, plugged I, in. Well, I, I suspect that's what the show is going to be. That's what it's going to do. You always want the answer so, so fast. You have the same I'm problem just, with Sense8. Just, just let try, it unfold. I'm trying, to, trying to figure it out in my head what's going on. <laughs> but what, what I like with uh, Anita is, that, is the same thing you mentioned I wanted to go back, is the balance between her and both the father and son complex, because that's going to be one weird roundtable discussion. If sure. his son walks in and, and basically tries to find out what's going on between her dad, because he's got these thoughts. He's obviously thinking to her more as just as just a house housekeeper or whatever she right. is. It, basically, he wants to. Does he want some sexual relations? Well, there is that there is that about? adult module yeah, that the, the, the salesman <laughs> slipped him. So uh, we, you, you never know, know that, what's going to go on. There. You don't. You don't. Pull a gun out in Act One if you're not going to fire it next. And three, do you think you know? she's got a motive to try and lure him into that trap? Because she seems to be like. Well, as part of her campaign to completely drive the wife around yeah. the bend, that certainly would be a, a step in the right direction, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah. And then meanwhile, there's the cop now, yeah, of so course, who's also. I, I, maybe he and the wife are going to hook up at some point. Not 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 sexually, but just in terms of like the the only as the only ones who realize that there's something going on here. Yeah. Because they, the show is. But we're also getting this episode in addition to the whole who's human and who's synthetic and what's the crossover mm -hmm. there, is now there's this, there's a conspiracy. Yeah. Like, they are hiding the fact that one of these synths has gone homicidal. Yeah. They're trying to play it off like, oh, it's an accident. She was tampered with. It was a rogue yeah. thing. Yeah, and that's, that's very societal in terms of what goes on in our, in our world today. If something goes wrong in maybe one of the banks in the small part of the world, ah, it's just a one-off case. This isn't yeah. going to affect you worldwide so that not everyone's mortgages are being pulled. Not everyone goes into crisis. Exact same thing here. There's a business. Right. They're trying to make money from well, it. If it, one goes out of faction, basically, then it, It's like is. that whole math of like, well, how many people have to die before we actually recall the car? Yes, Or is exactly. it cheaper to just pay off the victims, you know? Yeah, of yeah. course. So, so we're getting into that, too. So, no, that, you know, I, I, I have to say that... I don't think I like I like talking about this show you know, more than I like, like watching, watching this yeah. show. Because but, I, uh, when I'm, I, I, the same thing you're saying is most of the time when I'm watching, I'm like, this is really creepy. More than anything, <laughs> it's, it's creepy. But 
it is when we when we have these discussions it opens out it opens up my mind to think oh maybe that could have been that way maybe it could have looked now I'm already thinking I might be a little bit more sympathetic towards the mother out of them all even yeah. though I still don't like her that much yeah well it's it, it's complicated and it's drama and that's that's what we're here for all right awesome so uh, we'll be back next week Kim will be joining us maybe even Bibbs depending mm -hmm. on how caught up he is uh, and we hope you'll join us then.